This video is solving a multi-step equation involving a single logarithm problem type 2. So in this particular topic, we're actually going to be using the definition of logarithms to solve these problems. However, if you notice, we, when applying the definition, you're basically converting a logarithmic equation into an exponential equation. But before I'm allowed to do that, I want to notice one thing that this logarithmic expression is completely isolated. It's one log and there is no coefficient in the front. There is nothing being added or subtracted to this log. It's completely isolated. So in order for me to solve the equations above, I am gonna have to isolate the logarithmic expression before I actually apply the definition of logarithms. So if I look here at problem, the first problem, part A, I have my logarithmic expression, that's this part right here, but it's a four is being added to this expression. So in order for me to isolate that expression, I am going to have to eliminate this addition of four. And the way to el eliminate addition is to subtract four. And what I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other side. So I end up with the logarithmic expression equal to now five minus four, is just one. Now that I have my log expression isolated, now I can go ahead and apply the definition of log. So I'm going to have this space with this exponent equal to the argument. And then I can solve that resulting equation. 3 to the power 1 is just 3. If I divide both sides by negative 2, I get negative 1.5 equals x. Now, remember where x is. x is inside of an argument. Arguments must be positive. So if I plug this negative 1.5 in there, I need to be sure that that's going to be a positive result. And since a negative times a negative is a positive result, um, this value will check out in that argument. So this is the valid, correct answer, okay? But you always wanna double check that whatever answers you get, if the X was in the argument, you wanna make sure that that argument is positive. Same thing goes for the base. If your x is in the base, you want to make sure that that x value or whatever the base is, is positive. Now, we'll move on to this example over here. So again, if I identify the logarithmic expression, it's this one here. But if you notice, I have a coefficient of 4 in this equation. So we do need to get rid of the 4 coefficient. Well, remember, coefficients are multiplied by the expressions that they're next to. So in order for me to eliminate a multiplication, I will have to do the opposite operation, which is to divide by four. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So I end up with the logarithmic expression isolated, but it is now equal to three. And then I can apply my definition of logarithms. So the base two with the exponent of three equal to x plus 12. And I can solve this resulting equation. 2 to the power 3 is 8. And in order for me to get x alone, I am going to have to subtract 12 on both sides. And I get x equals negative 4. So again, what you have to do is make sure that when this x value is plugged into the argument, that the argument is actually positive. So negative 4 plus 12 is actually a positive 8. So it, my argument is still positive, which means this is a valid answer. 